One of the most heinous and despicable acts you can commit in the YouTube world is to false copyright strike another creator's channel. Unfortunately, in today's video, we have to cover just such an individual that has issued three strikes to a popular million subscriber channel, and within days, this channel will be deleted from the platform according to YouTube's three strikes policy. In my opinion, after speaking with the creator of the channel that is being attacked, Magnates Media, I do feel that these copyright strikes are a malicious attempt to silence this creator. If the channel decided to fight these strikes, there is a very real possibility he could be sued, and this lawsuit, if lost, would change what creators can post on YouTube forever. Magnates Media is a popular YouTube channel with nearly a million subscribers that post highly edited top-end content on business topics, such as the disturbing history of Coca-Cola and his viral hit covering the Chinese company that owns everything. This channel has been growing rapidly over the past year, and many creators have taken notice of its growth. One such individual that noticed Magnates Media channel was the competing channel Business Casual, which is owned by Alex Edson. Alex has an interesting past, who last year released a video where he stated he was suing Google for a past incident where he issued three strikes to the YouTube channel RT Arabic, which is owned by the Russian government. After Google didn't remove the channel when Alex issued three strikes against it for copyright claims, he decided to sue Google, claiming they were in league with the Russian government and needed to be stopped. His lawsuit against Google was ruled in Google's favor, but Alex has the option to appeal the decision and continue his fight. This leads us to just a week ago when Alex decided to once again issue three strikes to another channel, Magnates Media, and attempt to get the channel removed from YouTube completely. Alex's reason for attempting to remove this channel, in my opinion, is completely unhinged. After talking to John, the owner of Magnates, he provided me with all of the detail as to why Alex issued three strikes to his channel. The issue comes down to an editing technique known as the parallax effect. This photo editing technique turns simple two-dimensional images into a semi-three-dimensional image and is used by many editors across YouTube to create stunning visuals from a boring static image. Magnate's media editor used this effect on a public domain image of a factory that was owned by Andrew Carnegie in 1905 for his Andrew Carnegie documentary. This documentary is nearly an hour long and Alex claimed seven seconds of his video and issued a copyright strike to remove it from YouTube. Alex claim for striking the video is that Magnate stole Business Casual's parallax edited photo of the steel mill and used it in their video without permission. While the original photo is public domain and anyone can use it in their videos, Alex is making the claim that the parallax edited version that his team created is copyrighted and can't be used. This of course is a very serious claim and I have to be very careful as to what I can actually show because I'm sure if I do show Business Casual's edited photo, he will strike my channel as well. After hearing about all this, I reached out to John Fraser, the owner of Magnates, and chatted with him many times about what is going on. John provided me with an email response he got from Alex after contacting him about the strikes and Alex's response made claims that John copied his copyrighted content without permission and did not transform the work in any way. Alex also made the claim that John's script was copied from Alex's video and was put into a ChatGBT or some other AI software to make minor changes to it. After talking to John, he addressed both these issues. First, the script was clearly not copied from Business Casual, in my opinion. Alex's channel put out a video about Andrew Carnegie three years ago that is 16 minutes long. Magnate's media video on Andrew Carnegie was 53 minutes long. To claim that the two scripts are the same is pure madness. On top of that, John provided me with a video evidence of his timestamp work editing his script over an entire week in Google Documents. In my opinion, it's clear to me this script was not stolen by John. Next, John made it very clear to me that his editor was the one that created the parallax image of Carnegie Steel Mill, and it was not stolen. Alex provided images showing that the two edited photos were similar, but Magnates is clearly different with added color and bomb effects added. On top of that, John provided me with a detailed 16 minute video showing his editor recreating the parallax image in the video from scratch. This video, in my opinion, proves that John's team did not steal the copyrighted 3D image from Business Casual and makes Alex's copyrighted claim against John's video void. In total, Alex made three copyrighted strikes against John's video videos for a total of 12 seconds of footage in the videos that collectively equal over an hour and a half of airtime. The audacity of that, especially after John proved to me that his team created the parallax images used, 
is absurd. If more creators like Alex did this to every video they felt looked kind of similar to their work, the entire YouTube platform would be ruined forever. This kind of deranged behavior should strike fear in the heart of every YouTube creator, as you never know if your video might get claimed next because an edited image looks too similar to someone else's edit. John, who owns the channel Magnates, is understandably distraught about this, as under YouTube's guideline, his channel is now scheduled for deletion in just a few days, unless he fights back. If he does fight back, there's a very high chance Alex will sue John, as he has shown willingness to do so in the past by suing Google. After talking to John, I truly feel bad for him, as his entire income is derived from his YouTube channel, and he employs a team of editors as well. If his channel is deleted, a small business will be wiped out because another creator decided they wanted that channel removed from YouTube. To delve into just what kind of person would so callously seek to ruin another creator's livelihood, we don't have to look far into Alex Edson's past to discover the truth. When Alex was just a teenager, he started a multi-channel network that grew massively, and at one point had Jake Paul as a client. If you're familiar with MCNs, they have a long history of screwing over creators who join them, with H3H3 recently talking about their recent fight over payments with their MCN just a few weeks ago. Alex's company, known as Power TV, also had a long history of YouTube channels that over the years have felt screwed by Power TV and made videos warning other creators from ever working with the company or Alex Edson. Eventually, Alex sold Power TV, which seems to have netted him a large sum of money. He later used his riches to buy the YouTube channel Business Casual. Many people have made statements that after he bought it, the production value of the channel went down massively. Alex then used his new massive channel to produce his video talking about suing YouTube, which now has over 2 million views. Many believed that Alex was the creator of the channel and worked his way up making the channel what it is today, but had no idea he simply bought an already successful channel and is now using that to get other channels removed from the platform whenever he feels a minor transgression has been committed against his channel. Alex successfully got the YouTube channel RT Arabic removed from YouTube after claiming they had copied his parallax edited images, which that channel later admitted to doing. But Magnates has provided the evidence that proves, in my opinion, they did not do so. And if this channel is allowed to be taken down without doing anything wrong, this sets up a terrible precedent going forward for other channels to be taken down whenever a channel feels another channel's editing style is too similar. This is a very dangerous game that needs to be stopped or it will ruin the YouTube platform forever. Finally, I wanted to mention that I have reached out to Alex Edson several times as I wanted to get both sides of the story. When I first heard about Magnate's channel getting strikes, I tweeted Business Casual two times and never received a response. Days later, I contacted the email of Business Casual again, asking for comment why the strikes were made, and never received a response. I have given every attempt to Alex Edson to tell his side of the story, and he has decided to provide no response to my request for comment. I want to urge everyone to share this video and to try and get more channels to talk about this attempt to erase a channel from YouTube because of a similar editing style. This type of behavior should not go unchecked and is a dangerous game of escalation that will lead to a YouTube platform where everyone will be afraid to upload in fear of having their videos taken down for frivolous reasons.